Welcome to Protect and Grow with Chicagoland Certified Financial Planner Tim Stearns of TJ Stearns Incorporated. Trust, respect, and results. TJ Stearns Incorporated focuses on comprehensive financial planning and benefits. And welcome into the program. This is Protect and Grow Chicagoland Retirement with Chicagoland's Certified Financial Planning Professional. He is Tim Stearns, CFP. Always a pleasure to have you here on the program with us, Tim. And today we are going to be talking about how to make a significant impact on your tax-deferred retirement balance, how to save a significant amount of money. Tim, it's all about proactive tax planning. Peter, and no one does that. No one does proactive tax planning. Most people, you know, they have their accountant or uh, they uh, are Monday morning quarterbacking themselves uh, come April, um, you know, and what I know of, from most of the baby boomers that we meet with week in and week out is that their largest asset besides their house is their 401k. If they have a Roth, they have a minimal amount just because it was kind of, they're kind of late to the party because most of their careers have just been the vanilla 401k where they're deferring money uh, to pay uncle Sam. So, you know, getting ahead of it and mitigating taxes, being proactive is what this show is all about today. Now, Tim, you actually have capabilities with, software that you have access to, to crunch somebody's numbers, basically input their age, their tax deferred account, retirement account balances. Uh, you can talk about what we want to assume for growth rates on these accounts and for tax rates. You can help them identify what that will be and show numbers side by side, can give them real world numbers on what their tax liability is likely to be versus what they can proactively control it and it would cost them. Right, Peter. So what I actually did is uh, we have a, a program that can tell people what their tax liability over the years will be, um, which I think is very um, water in the face, uh, ice cold water, that is, that would tell people, oh, my gosh, I you know, I need to make a change. Um, so what I did was just last week is I ran um, an uh, illustration for a couple. Uh, we'll call them uh, J Joe and Mary Smith. OK. And they had a qualified account, which is a 401k, 403b, deferred comp, whatever you want to call it. So it's never been taxed by the government, all right? And they had a, a qualified account of $577,000. Now, based on their current income, their assumed tax liability is about 20%, all right? And what I did was I assumed that they're going to earn about 5% on their money over till the age of 90. So $577,000. If they do nothing to help uh, their tax position, they will owe over $336,000, okay? If they start to do some ta uh, Roth conversions or maybe some money into a life insurance policy, that amount goes down to $115,000. So let me say that again. Their tax liability, if they do nothing and they just play the game that the IRS wants them to play, it's $336,000, they start to do some Roth conversions and that type of thing, it's $115,000. It's nearly triple what they would have to pay if they do nothing. Tim, significant. And we all know it's not what you make, it's what you keep. That is a lot of money we are not able to keep, spend, and enjoy over our retirement or pass on to our families. And these are the kind of analysis, ladies and gentlemen, that you need to see for your figures and you need to understand and identify where you've got opportunities to realize this kind of saving and to be more efficient with your tax deferred retirement account balances. We've done a great job in saving and accumulating, building up those balances, but now is the time to proactively manage the taxes on those and Tim Stearns can help you identify the strategies that are most appropriate, advantageous, and help you with the execution of them. Pick up the phone and give a call if you would like to see these numbers, if you'd like to see this report and analysis on your specific situation. 800-640-2256, the number to be in touch with TJ Stearns and Tim Stearns CFP to get your tax analysis, retirement account tax analysis done 800-640-2256, 800-640-2256. Tim, when is the best time to pay taxes? When they're the lowest, right? If I, you bring that up. In 2023, 2024, and 2025, we will have taxes that have been the lowest since they've been in the 1920s. At the end of 2025, on January 1st, 2026, 
taxes will reset back to the old rates, which are much higher. And I, I ask you, would you rather pay taxes now on what you have a quantified approach to, or do you want to wait to see what the government might do for you down the road? Um, I would want to have the bird in hand and know exactly what I'm doing. So right now is a great opportunity for Roth conversions uh, next year and then 2025 being the end of that. Um, you know, I don't see them changing the tax uh, rates uh, before then. So this is a great time to be doing that. A closing window of opportunity, three years to be proactive and, and get these taxes paid while taxes are on sale. Uh, if I walk into a department store, Tim, and I see one rack uh, with a, an item on it and another rack with the exact same identical item, but this one is for sale, obviously I'm going to buy it off the rack that is for sale. But here's the thing. In a department store, I might look at the sale price and still say, eh, I don't really need that item. While, while it's at a discount, I simply just don't need to buy it right now. Taxes are a compulsory purchase. We must pay them sooner or later. It's a pay me now or pay me later system. So if we know taxes are going to be going up and many feel they could be going up even, even higher than what is currently slated, if we know that that is the fact, why not be proactive with this and go ahead and attack it now, right, Tim? Why would you wait? Exactly. And not only that, but you can quantify what that's going to be today. I have no idea where the taxes will go after the end of 2025. So when I have uh, what's in front of me and I know to, how to to quantify exactly what that amount is, that's when I would want to do it. Again, the rates are the lowest they've been since uh, you know the 1920s. Well, again, if we continue to defer and delay paying those taxes, Tim, we leave those dollars subject to whatever the changes are with tax rates between now and then. So if they do go up, Tim, that means we pay higher taxes and that is not in our control. That is basically at the whim of those in Washington who can't seem to control their spending on the other side of things. Well, I know for a fact that 99% of the listeners that I have uh, out here are, are are in the same camp as me is that you know the government doesn't always spend our money uh, smartly. So let's not give them more to spend money willy nilly on whatever they feel like the next flavor is. So I would tell anyone who's going to listen, uh, get on it now. Uh, we can run these reports for people. It's not a big deal, um, but it's just another uh, way we can advocate for them to get ahead of the tax bill. Tim, growth on the account also means a higher tax bill. If, if our goal is investment return and growth on our tax deferred account, fantastic if we achieve it. But Uncle Sam is pretty satisfied with that as well, because now he gets to tax an even larger pot. We share that growth with Uncle Sam. Right. Anything you, know, you have a partner for life, right? Besides your spouse, and that is the IRS, and they will always be there for you. And I don't mean that in the best way. So why would I want to give them more than their fair share? You know, I'm, I'm not against paying taxes, but let's pay what they're currently at instead of waiting to see how high they're going to raise them in the future. Again, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to see the tax bill report and analysis on your specific situation, your retirement accounts, your rate of growth into the future, which you can discuss and decide what's fair, your tax rate, which Tim Stearns, CFP, and the team from TJ Stearns can help you analyze and get a better understanding of to, to enter in to get the most correct and accurate data. But you can look side by side and you can see what your bill is likely to be if you continue to default to the IRS's plan or what it could be if you are more proactive and the savings is typically significant. Let's keep more of your money. Pick up the phone right now and give a call to get that conversation started, to get that report run for you. 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. 800-640-2256. Now, Tim, we talk about this uh, for a generation that by and large has deferred and delayed paying that tax bill. We were taught to do so for the last 30, 35 years. This, yep. this retiring generation making this transition largely has deferred and delayed paying the taxes on their retirement account balance. They were not wrong for that. That was not a mistake. It's just now is the time to change that paradigm and, and realize the opportunity when it's here. Well, in the 1970s, uh, you know, the ERISA came about and the advent of 401ks and taxes were very high, especially in the 80s. 
So this bear the the call to do this where you're going to put as much money as you can and kick that bill down the street of paying taxes right but nowadays it's quite the difference uh so we are telling people you know if you can do it make sure that you do a 401k roth right and pay the taxes currently that being said i also would say do the roth conversions based on the fact that the taxes are the lowest they've been in forever so just some really good opportunities for people. I think that most people would get off the mark if you show them a report showing them that, for example, in the in the Joe and Mary Smith example, uh, by not doing anything off of $577,000 in a qualified account, like a 401k, an IRA, a 403b, they're going to owe $336,000 over their lifetime with their beneficiaries as well of the IRA versus if they do some Roth conversion type things so, uh, sooner than later, it's about one hundred fifteen thousand dollars. It's a heck of a difference. And I would definitely explore it and at least get the report. And oftentimes, Tim, if there are multiple beneficiary children, generational beneficiaries, the IRS ends up being the largest single beneficiary of those retirement accounts. People worry about the estate tax. Well. Those retirement dollars, ladies and gentlemen, haven't even been taxed at the income level yet. And income taxes come before estate taxes. And so we need to be proactive in managing the income taxes. Tim, with the SECURE Act and the death of the stretch IRA, the fanfare was that they moved RMD age back by a couple years with SECURE yeah. Act 1 and then SECURE Act 2. The IRS... Congress, no dummies here. They're pushing many people's distributions, the default plan, back to a time when taxes will be higher. Right. A lot of people thought they did us a, a, a service. They did us a disservice because what's going to happen is that they're going to allow the uh, market to go on its uh, uh, rampage, rampage, right? You know, where you're going to have you know, the portfolios growing. And then you look at the fact that uh, now we have to pull out taxes two years later. Uh, it just helps the IRS. It doesn't really help us. And I had a professor at DePaul when I got my uh, certified financial planning certificate program. And he said, if they gave you something in your left pocket, they took it out of your right pocket. And what I'm saying is they said, hey, guys, you don't have to take money out for two more years. Instead of 70 and a half, it has to be 73. All right. But at the end of the day, you're going to have a larger amount in that other pocket and the taxes are going to go up. It doesn't help anybody. You know, don't be fooled by their, their their fool's gold, you know, that they gave us. Just because you can default does not mean that you should continue to defer and delay to the IRS's plan and mandates for required payments on the tax bill within those retirement accounts. It often is not in your best interest to default to the IRS's minimum distribution plan. And Tim, uh, another part of that death of the stretch IRA, you know, they moved the RMD age back a couple years, slated to go back even further. But with that being said, they did away with generations of potential tax deferral when that IRA passes. So they gave us an extra year and a half, two years on the front end, but they literally took away lifetimes of tax deferral with those dollars on the back end and really solidified, really confirmed and reconfirmed that your retirement accounts are best utilized for your retirement. If there is going to be a legacy left behind, Tim, there are better, more optimal ways to leave it than tax deferred IRAs or retirement accounts. Exactly. Uh, and I, you know, I think that people didn't realize what was happening to us. You know, they look at it for what it's worth. And at the end of the day, you're, you're figuring out that they're not really looking out for your best interest. What they're looking out for is to make more tax money for themselves. So I would tell anybody out there, let's see a report and see what we're talking about. The difference is extraordinary. Oftentimes, Tim, a 60 to 65 year old, the amount of taxes that would likely be owed over their lifetime defaulting to the IRS's plan is could be near the balance of the account currently. And right. we can proactively pay off that bill for a fraction, a small percentage of what it might be. And in the example that we're talking about, and we'll, we'll try to put this up on the screen for those watching the video version of the podcast, you certainly have a generic example available or can 
again, do a specific example for any interested listener interested in controlling your taxes, ladies and gentlemen, just pick up the phone and give a call 800 640 Two two five six. That's eight hundred six four zero twenty two fifty six. But in this example, we're we're talking about Tim, almost a third um, of of what the bill would likely be a two thirds reduction in lifetime taxes on that IRA. Right. And the example that I give with the Joe and Mary, it's it's exactly that. Right. It went from three hundred and uh, thirty six thousand versus one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. Now, there's a couple things that we assume on that, just to d- dive deep here. Number one, there's going to be a required minimum distribution taxes, right, when they're 73 years old. That's number one. That's part of the bill. That's about $142,000 of it, okay? The second part is that a lot of times people have to take the RMDs out, and they actually invest it in another vehicle. So the taxes for that would be about $71,000, all right? And then lastly, your beneficiaries who used to be able to stretch an IRA are now going to be paying for it within 10 years. They're going to have to pay taxes on it and drain the account down to zero. It's $122,000. And that brings me to $336,000 versus if we do some uh, reallocation of the money, it's $115,000. So these are opportunities that are out there that we need to seize on right now because I don't know when taxes are going to be low again. Uh, because of the different things like us helping the Ukraine. Uh, you know, we have a huge federal deficit. You know, I don't have to tell the listeners out there that they're spending money, like as my dad used to say, like a drunk sailor, that we need to, uh, you know, take care of ourselves before worrying about, you know, our, our taxes that are owed to the IRS. Tim, that's three levels of taxes there. One yep. level of tax on the original distributions, maybe the required yep. minimum distributions. Another layer of tax on the reinvested gains if we do not spend the money. And then yet another third layer of taxes on the legacy value, uh, a de facto income slash inheritance tax. And that doesn't even include the sales tax when we actually (laughs) go to spend the money. But by being proactive, by identifying these Roth conversion opportunities, by executing them efficiently, we actually can do away completely with two of those layers of taxation. We can do away with the requirement to distribute the account. So no requirement to reinvest it and therefore no tax on on the residual gains of that after tax account and no account or no tax on the account when it passes on generational to beneficiaries why would we not do this why would we overlook this opportunity to better control and minimize our tax bill on those retirement accounts tim i don't know the answer to that i would want to at least explore it to see what we're talking about here um you know there's a whole different way to look at this And I think most people are like, well, you know what? I have to come and take my medicine and that's just how it's going to be. No way. Why not be proactive and change the script, right? And make it a little different so that you're not doing what your parents did, uh, which is paying a lot in taxes. Why not get ahead of it and pay minimal taxes, pay your fair share and not more than that? Again, if you would like to see the report customized specific for your situation, ladies and gentlemen, pick up the phone, give Tim Stearns, CFP, and TJ Stearns, Inc. call 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. 800-640-2256. Tim, let's talk a little bit more about these Roth opportunities, what the Roth represents. We have contributions. That's putting new money into a Roth. And then we have the opportunity for conversions. That's money that's already in a retirement account, a tax deferred retirement account, and proactively managing the taxes on that account balance. Now, there are a lot of limitations with new contributions, but there are very few limitations when it comes to conversions, correct? Yeah, Peter, I mean, a lot of people uh, don't understand how this works. Um, There is no limit to what you can convert every year. Um, you know, and it's and there's not a limit on what your income is either. If I made a million dollars a day, I can still convert my qualified money into a Roth. Um, you know, obviously, you want to be careful how you do it. Uh, you know, you don't want to sit there and I'm not advocating for anyone out there to take a million dollars and change it into a Roth. But I am saying for people to at least explore to nibble on that tax bill, uh, regardless of your income, you're able to do this. Regardless of your income, you're able to do as much as you want as well. Um, that's why we use a CPA to make sure that we're not 
paying more than our fair share of taxes and you're not dropping into some tax bracket that you want no part of. But yeah, there's a lot of opportunities that people don't understand that are out there. Regardless of income, you can do Roth conversions. Regardless of income, you can do as much as you want into a Roth as well as a conversion. Yep. A lot of people, I think, are confused and under the impression that for one of many numerous reasons, they cannot get money into a Roth. And uh, for all practical purposes, it is possible for almost anyone to get money into a Roth where thereafter it grows tax free and you pull income from it tax-free. It also transfers generationally tax-free. Tim, tax-free money, tax-free growth, tax-free income, tax-free inheritance, all of those are going to be beneficial for our long-term financial picture. What's not to like about that? Who the heck wants to pay taxes again and again and again, right? I mean, there are a tax on our Social Security when I retire. You know, there's double taxation on a lot of things in life. So why not take advantage of something called a Roth and never pay taxes again? It also helps you when you're getting your fees that you're going to owe for Medicare during the year, because when you take money out of a Roth, that doesn't penalize you uh, according to income levels. So there's a lot of great things. There's nothing not to like about a Roth. It's just the idea here is that you pay the taxes today so that the money can grow down the road for that you to take out it and there would not be taxes. Or, you know, if you leave it to your children, there's no taxes either. Tim, if an investor is not having these conversations with their source of advice and financial guidance with their planner. They're really missing the boat. And really, if if you're not having this one almost most important conversation, what other planning strategies and proactive guidance could you be missing? This is a big one, Tim. If, if somebody is out there, has not had these conversations, if it's all about the rate of return and the mutual fund selection and the asset allocation, but not a discussion about the tax implications and what we ultimately will get to keep into and through retirement, that is a big piece of the puzzle that is missing. Well, I mean, that is a huge puzzle. Who wants to pay more taxes? So, I mean, at least explore it, you know, so that you can say yes or no. But I mean, you have this year, next year and 2025 to do it when it's the most optimal, in my opinion. So I would tell anybody to either A, sign up for our class because we cover that in our retirement class. B, give us a call or C, shoot us an email uh, and we will get you the information and we can actually run the report for you. We don't charge for that. Uh, The software that we use, we pay for it, but you're not going to, but it's a great area to take a look at to see if, you know, if it makes sense for you. It might not be for everybody, but I have yet to find someone it's not for. Uh, It's a better opportunity than I can see in the the last 10 years. Again, if you would like that report, your tax analysis run for your specific situation, all you got to do is pick up the phone, give a call to TJ Stearns and Tim Stearns CFP, and the team will happily run that for you. 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. 800-640-2256. Now, Tim, we already talked about the best time to pay taxes is when they are low, We are in a low tax environment right now. And for many people, the first few years of retirement may be the lowest income rates personally that they will have, regardless of what rates and brackets are for the rest of their life. Also, another opportunity that often gets overlooked. It's kind of the silver lining of a gray cloud, Tim. But when markets and account balances are down is actually another critical moment to identify it's an opportunity to better manage taxes. Right. We had a guy uh, come see us a couple of years ago that actually did Roth conversions in 2008. And I've never seen larger Roth amounts in my life. So that being said, 2022 was a, a really rough year on a lot of people. If your advisor did not talk to you about doing a Roth conversion, then shame on them. But right now I'm telling you, those are great opportunities. I just had a guy the other day call us um, he has some money with us and some money with another company, and he still is not above water with that other person. I said, well, those that's IRA money. Do do some Roth conversions, you know, with the money that still is not above where you put it in at, you know, just to get the, the ball rolling, um, you know, to get save on taxes. And, you know, his other advisor had never mentioned that to him. And for you do it yourselfers out there now or never, right? I mean, you have three years to do this. Uh, so it's a great opportunity. 
Um, I would ask to have you give us a call. We'll do the report and send it out to you. Finally, Tim, what could be better than a tax-free gift to children or grandchildren? There are actually several opportunities for younger savers and investors just starting out and learning what investing is all about to take advantage of a lifetime of tax-free growth. Yeah, Peter, what you're talking about, you know, if your child is working, which my son uh, Ryan is is finally got a job after uh, playing sports throughout high school. We are making sure he does a Roth. This is a great opportunity for him to start building money. Um, could you imagine for the listeners out there how much money you would have if you had diligently put money in at the age of an 18-year-old like my son? Mm -hmm. The other thing you could do is there's minor custodial retirement accounts. That's another option. Um, also, if you own your own business and you have your child working there, even a, a small part, you can put them on the payroll and they could be putting money away in, into a you know Roth type vehicle. So, and then the last one that I would tell anyone out there that is looking for college, as I'm about to with an 18 year old, the 529 accounts cannot say enough about that. Do you have to take a required minimum distribution? How about taking it out and putting it back in a 529 for your grandchild? It's a great opportunity to grow some money tax deferred that will do great things for their education. And Tim, just uh, quickly kind of compounding it out. If a 20-year-old is putting away just the Roth IRA amount, 6500 if that never changes uh, and, and they get an 8% kind of average growth rate from 20 to 60, they have well over a million dollars of tax-free money by the time they hit that retirement age mark and milestone. It's a great way uh, to encourage the younger savers to, to really pay attention and wake up to what they need to be doing. But also, ladies and gentlemen, if you've built up a good retirement account balance, but it is yet to be taxed, tax deferred, guess what? The IRS has not forgotten about that. You should not either. You should understand what that tax bill is likely to be, and you should take the proactive steps to control it where possible. Tim Stearns can show you those opportunities, can run the reports for you can show you how to execute an efficient strategy to pay the least amount in taxes possible on your retirement nest egg. Give a call if you'd like to see that tax analysis and report. 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. 800-640-2256 to have your own personal tax analysis done for your retirement accounts and, and to help control, minimize, and even eliminate unnecessary taxes in your retirement. Tim, always a pleasure having you here on the program. Another fantastic program and an important topic. Thanks, Peter. It's my pleasure. And give us a call if we can help you save taxes. Again, that number, 800-640-2256, 800-640-2256. We'll talk to you next time on Protect and Grow, Chicagoland Retirement. Tune into Chicagoland Certified Financial Planner Tim Stearns' full radio program and visit tjstearns.com for many valuable resources, including other great episodes of Chicagoland Retirement. Be sure to subscribe. Securities offered through T.J. Stearns, a registered representative of Crown Capital Securities LP, member FINRA SIPC. The information presented on this program is provided for informational purposes only without warranty of accuracy, completeness, or suitability for a particular purpose. This program is not intended to be and does not constitute financial investment, legal, or tax advice. This information is general in nature and not specific enough to be construed as advice. You should not make any decision based on the information presented on this program without independent consultation with an appropriately licensed professional or competent advisor. Investment in security or the market involves a potential risk for loss of principal. Trading, therefore, may not be suitable for all listeners. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims-paying ability of the issuing company. Withdrawals of growth from annuities may be taxable as ordinary income in the year it is taken. Individuals should review contracts for specific details of the product's features and costs.